The Thunder Lizard Brontosaurus has a confusing history. Once thought to be a Nomen dubium or a non-valid species. See, they were discovered in 1879 during the Bone Wars, which was a very different time in paleontology. Back then, they were thought to look something like this. But in the late 1900s, a gentleman by the name of Riggs proposed that Brontosaurus wasn't a valid species. It was instead a type of Apatosaurus. And most paleontologists generally agreed with him. Most. Separate from the pack, Robert T. Backer argued against this. He believed that there was still sufficient material to determine that Brontosaurus was a distinct species. And over 20 plus years, he was largely ignored. So it was thought to be dead and buried. But wait! 2015, an extensive study by these scientists was released, which explored the relationship between sauropods. The study concluded that Brontosaurus was indeed its own species, and that my man's backer was right all along. Over 70 feet in length and quite robust even for a sauropod, they're one of the most powerful animals to have ever lived. Because, I mean, let's be real here. You don't get called the Thunder Lizard for nothing.